Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Think Constructive. I am Isha. In this series of Spring and Spring Boot Annotations, the next annotation which I will be discussing in this session is Auto-Wired. Auto-Wired annotation is very powerful annotation for injecting dependencies. It finds and inject collaborating spring beans into your class. That means you don't have to manually go ahead and configure dependencies. Rather, Spring handles this wiring for you, right? As the name itself says, auto-wired. So, it will automatically wire the dependencies, considering those dependencies exist in Spring container. All right. So, what happens? Wherever you put this annotation, for injecting the particular dependency, a spring will go ahead and find out that dependency in the spring container. If it finds, it provides. Otherwise, it will throw no such bean definition exception. Alright, now let us see where to put this annotation to make it work. So, the first way is to put it at the field level. So, that is called as field injection or field level injection. Second is to put it at the setter methods. This is called as setter injection. And the third mechanism is to put it at the constructor level. So it is called as constructor injection. Now I will give you the demonstration wherein you will understand how and where to use this annotation and what is the exact benefit you are getting, your application is getting by using this annotation. All right, so let us quickly open the IntelliJ IDEA editor and start the demonstration. So here is the IntelliJ IDEA editor and I have opened the project annotations demo which we created in our last discussion when we discussed add component annotation. If you wish to understand add component annotation in detail, session details are getting displayed on the screens right now. Feel free to explore that session. For now let us concentrate on add auto wired annotation so i'll just show you uh, two classes which we have in this project first one is the spring boot application main starter class all right and another one is the cloud class okay so we just created a plain basic cloud class in which we have a get cloud method and here we are creating cloud object and calling get cloud method this is all we did in this project while discussing add component annotation. So now let's focus on add auto wired. So for now, I will just comment this message here in get cloud. Okay, I'm not removing it so that you can refer back and understand things in detail. So let us quickly create a new Java class. Okay. So here is a new Java class named as Google Cloud. And in this Java class, let's have a get cloud method. Okay. So I will just say public void get cloud. Okay. And let us print a simple message system dot out dot println. And let's give a message here Google cloud provider got input. All right. So this is all about this class and let us uh, annotate this class with add component, okay, so that this class can be available in the spring container. So we have created a new class, Google Cloud, and we annotated it with add component. Let us come back to cloud class now. And now let's have Google Cloud class injected here in this cloud class, okay. So for that, the first method what we uh, know is field level injection. So, we'll have first demonstration for field level in injection. So, for that, so let's define it here, private, Google Cloud, Google Cloud, that's it. And let's put auto-wired annotation here, okay. So, now after doing this, let's call the Google Cloud's get cloud method here in the get cloud, okay. So, I'll say Google Cloud dot get cloud, okay. And now, what behavior I would expect when we call this cloud get cloud? I would want that Google Cloud's get cloud should get 
invoked. All right. So let us come back to this main class. We already have code in place for this cloud object application context dot get bean, and from cloud object I am calling get cloud. Now let us execute and see the behavior. See, Google Cloud Provider got invoked. This is what we were expecting, right? Now let us come back to Cloud class. Okay, so this is a demonstration of field level injection. Now let us have one more demonstration. That is for the setter method level injection. So I'll just comment out auto wired from this field, and for setter level method injection, let's define a setter method here. Okay, so I'll say public void set Google Cloud, and I will pass Google Cloud here. All right, and inside this, I will say this. Dot Google Google Cloud is equal to Google Cloud. Fair enough, right? So we have defined a setter method for this, and now what do I do? I will just put auto wired here. My job is done. Now let us test it. So I will just say run. And the same behavior which I have got from field level injection. I got from setter method level injection also, so you can see Google Cloud provider got invoked. All right, and the third way is constructor level injection. So I'll come back to Cloud class, okay, and I will put the setter method in comment, okay, and uh, let's define a constructor for Cloud class here, okay. I will say public. Cloud, okay, and let's have Google Cloud, okay, and I will say this dot Google Cloud is equal to Google. All right, so I have defined a constructor for this Cloud class, and now for auto wiring purposes, I should put auto wired annotation here. Now it should give me the same behavior which it has provided with the field level injection and with the setter level injection. Okay, so let us come back to annotation demo application class and let's run and test. You can see I've got the same behavior. Google Cloud Provider got invoked, right? So all three method we have learned in this how we can auto wire dependencies using Field level using setter method and using constructor level injection. Okay, let's quickly look into the documentation also for auto wired. Okay, so what we are seeing here marks a constructor field setter method or config method as to be auto wired by the Spring's dependency injection facilities. We have seen the demonstration for this, right? This is an alternative to JSR 3.30 Jakarta dot inject dot inject annotation. So auto wired is the alternative for inject annotation, adding required versus optional semantics. Okay, so there, uh, so lot of uh, detailed stuffs are written here. So if you would like, you can just go through this documentation. I prefer to show the documentations always because. That is very very helpful when you are practically working on the production read projects. You can refer these documentation and apply the required stuffs in your project. Okay, yeah. So that's all about auto wired annotation. So next week I will come back with one more annotation of of a Spring and a Spring Boot framework. Okay. So if you have any doubts, feel free to ask your doubts in the comment section below. If you like the session, hit the like button and share the channel and session details with your friends, family, and colleague because that is how we will grow more stronger together. There are more and more Java microservices and Spring Boot detailed sessions with the project demonstration are available on the channel. So feel free to explore those sessions also. 
If you like my session, hype the session so that it can be recommended to more and more people. See you in the next session. Bye for now.